keep California cowgirls from vanishing. Welcome to the Urban Cowgirl Show. Training our horses and miniature cows in ranch versatility. Penny, Rusty and Susie, our bull, and heifer. Roping Rusty with Morgan Horse, Sammy. Training Eve to drive cart. Training Eve to work over her haunches with a motor cow simulator. Training Eve to lay down. Training Eve to harness, pull a log. Training Semi to harness, pull a log on turf. Jumping at liberty to music, making our Morgan horses our partners. Training Eve on a cow roping simulator. Training on our driveway, which is covered by sand, so we have a straight track. Stepping over poles, jumping over crossbar jumps. Training in our trail obstacles area. Semi on the big steps. Morgan Horse Sadie doing obstacles rainlessly. Semi drives a cart. Sadie pulls a log. Sadie learns to pull a cart. Miniature Zebu Heifer Susie learns to drive a cart. Bull Rusty learns to pull a harrow. Working with Morgan Mare Semi's resistance to crossing over white vinyl jumps. 26, 2010. And we've moved the uh, crossbar jump, the vinyl jumps, um, to uh, the south side of the eight, don't, don't let her go over yet, Brianna, HVD West shed, uh, given us a place to uh, work with her from ground over here next to the jump, but uh, no place for her to avoid the jump on the north side. So we're just letting her investigate. We, we took a little bit of a step back with Semi. We don't know why. We thought we had her desensitized to these vinyl jumps, but then after a couple months we tried it again and she got um, concerned again and was kind of bolting over the jumps. Um, not, not so much in, in hand, but particularly in saddle. So we're going back down to groundwork then uh, it's always harder, everything is always harder when you've got somebody in saddle up above. We'll work our way up, small step at a time, uh, in saddle, uh, maybe with the lead line as well, and then just saddle. Uh, now you see that uh, this is not a real high jump in the middle where it's crossed, uh, maybe about uh, 12 inches, between 12 and 18 inches. Um, we may be putting it down to the ground. We'll just see how it goes today. We're going to uh, document this for training purposes and perhaps for educational purposes if we decide to broadcast it. see that uh, she's definitely concerned about it. Uh, I'll follow with the camera. Why don't you follow with the camera and let me try. All right. it, it, this can be dangerous if she decides to bolt and you're in the way, so you have to be constantly thinking. Okay, so Brianna, if I say something from a distance, repeat it, so because you'll be closer to the camera. Okay. 
And could you get me, there's a white stick in there. Too. Get me a white stick. I'm going to. Okay, I'm stopping the camera for now while we get the proper tool. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can get some confidence. It is a little bit wet here because it's been a wet couple days here at the end of May. do this a little bit if she gains confidence. We'll see. do is make it her idea to go over it. Watch my body language. I'm trying to get two eyes here and give two eyes. Watch her mouth. She's real stiff. <laughs> Needless to say, she's backing off. like it. And you know what? Um, Brianna had the idea that maybe we should be making our way on the right side of this jump between the shed and the jump. So we're going to stop the camera for a minute, move it over ever so slightly so that I can step on either side. So we've made an opening here just big enough for me to go through, hopefully not big enough for her to want to try to go through. Now I'm going to go back. If I can get her to be willing. There's a certain amount of, well, be patient, and then there's a certain amount of, well, be insistent. She's going to try to push me around with that shoulder. Whoa. Whoa. We did, by the way, put the rails down to the second cup. And we may even put them down to the floor. One small step at a time. Pushing me around here with her shoulder. Point. 
ask? Answer is no, I don't want to. Look at that. See, she's telling me with her body language, no, I don't want to. We're just going to do this patiently as we can, as persistently as we can, until she says, oh, all right. She's choosing to do that. Blowing out of her nostrils, kind of checking the ground. It's pretty low here in the center, but there are like four rails. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing, I'm hearing uh, her frustration. She's not quite sure yet. She's pushing me around, which is not good. Back. Back. Good. She knows what I want, you know. She's just trying to resist. I'm going to fool her and go on this side. I'm asking. I'm not pulling. I'm just asking. I brought my white stick with the string. Give me a little bit more extension here. Uh -uh. There you go. That was the answer I wanted. And you know what? She tipped it. You might have heard that on the camera. She tipped it. So is that going to make her afraid of it? Do I want to do another request? You know, because you have to do everything on both sides. I won't do another request this way. I'm going to try to do it that way. And if I can get her to be willing to go over, even though it was with bolting, I feel like that's the right answer for today. Now let's see. And you'll see. here. She's trying to get away from it.
Back, back. Approach retreat. Boy, if I could see, if I could see that she's licking her lips, I'd say, that's progress. You know, licking and chewing, making nice with my tool, trying to show her that this is not going to be a scary event. I'm trying to desensitize her to the white vinyl. She's fine, by the way, on wooden jumps. The brown wooden jumps that we have, it's just the white vinyl. There you go, a little licking and chewing. Very good. See if I can get her. Now that she was able to pull away from me, is she going to try it again is the question. Point. Close the door here with my tool. Can I get a step forward? Behind the drive line with my tool. Yes. Whoa. Whoa. A little bit wrong angle. See that hip is going away. Nah, that's avoidance. Whoa, back. Here's what I'm going to do. Make it an even easier task. Now, this is a bunch of white. Would she be willing to step over it? Look at that body language. She says, no, I'm still scared. See if I can give her confidence. today since it's so slippery. Stop the camera for a minute and move all of these white rails away. I'm going to get her to walk between the jump standards. Well, uh, now we'll see if uh, we can get her through the standards. We just put the rails under the building for now. Um, another thing that I noticed, and we're going to try to make this change before our next session, this is my taller set of standards. I have a shorter set that's only about this high and less likely to run the lead rope into it when you're going over. Um, and so we're going to switch to the shorter standards for this part of our training. And I'm going to walk out, hold a little bit closer now to her. There you go. There you go. See, she's looking. She's looking. She's saying, now, where are those spooky white things? And she's kind of surprised that uh, they weren't there. But she clearly was relaxed walking through the standards. And you know what? That's all we're going to do today. Session with Sammy. Um, we've got a rail between two jump standards that are far apart. Uh, we're, we're letting the other horses kind of roam around here. Um, we'll separate them if we have to, but let's see what happens. Brianna said that before I turned the camera on, Sammy was just fine. But walking across. Yeah, watch the uh, hind end of Sadie. Sammy's the alpha here, so I'm not too worried about Sadie getting involved. Look at that. No stress. No need to further desensitize to that rail. But now I'm going to stop the camera. We're going to bring the jump standards closer, make it look more like a rail between two jump standards, and see if that causes stress. OK, we've got the jump standards now. With the rail between on the ground, let's see what she thinks. Does it get scarier? No, it doesn't. It didn't. Let's go the other direction. Remember, everything has to be done in both directions. Uh oh, and here comes Sadie. She wants to check it out. Kind of come over here on the south side. Let's see if we can just do this with Sam and show her that 
you know, this is just stuff that's here right now. Uh oh, a little bit of resistance. Okay, all right. We may have to move Sadie out of the way if we're starting to get resistance from Semi. Remember, Sadie and her mom Eve have no problem at all with these white vinyl jumps. Semi, on the other hand, is a little bit concerned. Okay, I'm going to move Sadie. Okay, I just uh, moved Sadie away with a, a crop in my hand, asked her to vamoose. Uh, and Sammy's fine on it. Let's do it again the other direction. It did uh, rain again yesterday, so once again it's a little bit slippery out here. And we just want to make some small step progress and show you how we're training Sammy to deal with her stresses with white final jumps. No problem. Well, today's session is in our arena, just briefly. And if all goes well, we'll go back to the uh, turf area where we have some jumps just like these set up. This is Semi who is showing quite a bit of improvement. Look at that. The white vinyl is a little bit of concern. She just tipped it with her front legs. Let's see what happens when we go back and ask her to deal with it again. Very nice. A little bit of concern, but nothing like what we had to deal with in the past. Uh, let's do it again in that direction. Good. Very nice. Now, uh, Katie, bring her over here to this other jump that I made up of uh, white PVC. Let's see how she deals with that. Just remember, Semi doesn't mind the wooden jumps, the crossbar jumps we have, not one bit. It's the white, I think, that is concerning her. Well, here is the, oh, no problem at all. S skinnier rails, a skinnier risers white PVC, and then I use some uh, umbrella holders with sand in them. No problem. All right, well, uh, while we're here in the arena, we'll get in the saddle and see what she says. Sometimes being up higher makes a difference. Then we're gonna go to the turf. Well, we're gonna take the first one, the easy one. Not bad, not bad. A little bit of rushing, a little bit of concern. We will use lead line as well as saddle if we feel that. We need the extra control or need to ask for respect in a different way. But I feel that that was acceptable and with repetition, we'll get her to slow down even more. Now recall that we did have Semi just fine on these white PVC and white vinyl jumps. And then we didn't do it for a couple months. Then we did it and lo and behold, we found out she still uh, had some concerns. So we just did the training again. Just like we did months ago. We kind of had to start over again. But you know, that's sometimes the way things happen when you're dealing with livestock training. That's not bad. Let's go over here and see what she says about the white vinyl, which is four by four, five by five posts as risers and uh, rails that are styrene rails filled with wood. A little bit more whiteness involved. Let's see what she says. And I may have to go and do lead line. We'll see. So we do approach retreat, we do circles, we do hind end disengagements, shoulder lateral movements, anything to get their uh, focus and uh, respect, things that they know how to do and to distract them from any concerns they may have. And I'm talking about they, in this case, Sammy, because my other two Morgans don't mind at all. Okay. A little bit more rushing there. Now let's go to uh, the turf. Semi jumping on turf. All right, now we have one rail on the ground. 
You can see what she says about crossing. Yesterday from the ground, she was fine. Ah, today a little bit of rushing. Both directions rushing today. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to uh, put the lead line uh, control on her as well as the saddle control. And then we'll see if we can get her to be as confident as she was in her last session. We've decided to do it from the ground without a rider in the saddle. That uh, made it too stressful for Sam. She's still a little stressed going this direction, as you can see. Let's see if we can get her to be confident. Yes. Very nice. Make nice when they give you the right answer. Whoa. Just a crop as a tool here. Visual block. Rubbing. If I needed to ask her to go back, I would use this crop to help me to ask for back if she didn't give it to me. Now she's not paying attention to me. Arm extension. Visual block. Good. There you go. All right, we haven't lost ground since yesterday, but you can see the being in saddle, being high up is yet another challenge. So we'll make that uh, the uh, next show on uh, semis desensitization to white vinyl jumps. Our cast of characters, Sadie and Eve. Sammy. For Calf Sela. For more information, www.cowgirlchannel.com.